hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Jonas, you're the man on sticks. I have them. I'm the explosive one, and we're playing Madden 9. Teen Sugar Britches. This bad 19 relocated franchise of the Toronto Mounties. We always get our man. We mount up. We ride hard. We go forward. I don't know if those were the rules, but they are now. We ride As always, hard and go forward. Playing offense only. Mm. Simmon that D. Simmed D. Yeah, we're using that balanced playbook too. You know what else would be balanced? Balance out my life a little bit. What would help balance you out, Jonas? If anyone watching this video right now would click the subscribe button so they would know when we put out more Mounties videos. Man, I didn't see that one They can mount from... up with us. Yeah, they could. They could. They could. They could be like, oh, man, this is great. And I'm like, it is. You're right. <laughs> is it great, Jonas? It's, oh, it's great. <laughs> so great. Don't you no. know how great it is? <laughs> I mean, I'm here for every single one of them. So. Are you? Yeah, yeah, you are, I guess. Yeah. I yeah, was, so. was kind of waiting for the greatness, but I mean, yeah, you're we, like I, I don't, I don't know if "great's" the proper word. We got yeah, fucking Ballage in here still. Our, our beast of a running back Saquon still fucking hurt. We're, we're tolerable, I think. I guess. You know, if you, I figure if people watch our videos to go to sleep, I'm cool with that. <laughs> it's like the most boring thing in their life. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Honestly. Yeah, you know, I mean, hey, at least it run, they'll run through the playlist when they're exactly. done, and then hey, like everybody at home right now, listen to this on loop. <laughs> on loop while to, you sleep. To why you sleep. They'll wake up having, they'll have the worst nightmares they've ever had. <laughs> well, I don't know. The episodes just began, man. It might be, it might be good dreams. You never know. You have nightmares? You're on an ocean. You're alive. You love life. Grand See? Grandmother is cooking you bacon. Do you have nightmares, Jones? You have bad dreams? Uh, not normally. No. no. When did you stop having bad dreams? Because I always figure there's got to be a time where a person Every stops. Where every I don't um, bad dreams. I've I, you know I've never really been a nightmare guy. I've never been a nightmare guy. Yeah, dude, I don't really. I mean, I have dreams. You have dreams that are not as good though, right? I mean, but, they're but, never like I never wake up like in a cold sweat or like oh, no. fear. Or, that like, would be that would be like a medical condition, I think. Like no, I don't wake up like like I don't have dreams where like. People are trying to kill me, or I'm running from a fucking whatever. You never been to like school naked or anything? No, dude, never had any of those. One time there was a dream that I was like in North Korea, <laughs> and like suck. some things were happening, but like it wasn't like a bad dream. What do you mean some things were happening? Like you can't just say I that. Was That's out way in North too vague. Korea and like there was I don't remember. Dude, it's been a long time. Oh, he's on holiday, folks. <laughs> and uh, was there like gunfire? No, dude. Like, but people were not happy. They like, were, people I was with, but I wasn't sad. They didn't like you because you were white. Is that? <laughs> I, I, I I'm believe, just asking. I believe that they were uh, reverse racisming on. Oh, me. Joe, that's awful that you should have to experience that I don't, in a dream. I don't mind because I don't uh, like what my people have done. Whoa, Joe! Wait a minute. What? I don't like that my people have oppressed people. What have they done in North Korea? No, my people in general. The white man keep everybody down. I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, just saying. All right, I'm not touching that one. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to touch it. I'm not I'm touching just, I'm that bringing one. it up, but I'm not happy. Like, I, I brought it to the mothership before. I ain't, I ain't yeah. touching that one. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, dude. I stopped having bad dreams after I saw Jaws, and I saw how fake it was. That, like, I so, used like... Up until the point you knew animatronic sharks didn't exist, that you were upset, had well, bad dreams. I used to, like I'm, I like I like horror movies. To yeah, this I do day. too. Yeah, but I scream like a bitch. Oh like, Jesus! No well, you don't like what. scary games either. I don't like scary stuff, and as kind of like as a, a general part of myself. rule of your life. Yeah, but okay. I do like scary movies. But I do get freaked out. And I can only imagine how Lil Dynamite Jr. how he would have reacted to scary movies. Especially without the knowledge of adult Things. dynamite. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I used to have bad dreams, and then I saw Jaws, and I was like, man, this looks horrible. I'm like, none of this shit is real. I got nothing to worry about. Oh, I got you. Yeah, see, I never even used to have dreams. Like, even when I would watch, like, Nightmare on Elm Street as a kid, like, and that, that was That about... shit gave me nightmares. Well, yeah, it's about <laughs> someone killing you in your dreams. Dude, like, but I he get... pulled her through the window in the, at the end? What? Have you ever oh my god, the surgeon's in the house, folks. I don't want to like, like spoilers, but do you remember like... Spoilers at the, for a 30-year-old movie. <laughs> spoilers, Joe. <laughs> at the so. end of Nightmare on Elm Street. One? I'm pretty sure it was the first okay. one. 
I'm not positive, but I remember she's standing out front of, out front of the household, and Freddie's arm pulls her through like a tiny glass window in the door. I and that imagery has stuck with me to this that. day. Um, yeah, well, it happened. All right, and I it scared the shit out of me. That shit. And don't fall asleep. I'm tired, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm dead. You're killing me, Freddy. Oh God, it might as well kill him. me now. Anyway, you know what I thought was neat about the the last one they did, the one they remade that everyone kind of hated. <laughs> I don't remember it. It was probably um, bad. It was like the people in the movie were like they were trying to stay awake. And uh, and and at different parts, like it would like they would like shudder between like dream and awake. Like there was one point, the girl's like in a convenience store or a, a fucking pharmacy or something. She's trying to get caffeine pills, and she was on the floor, and it would like shudder, like she would be like in like the fucking boiler room, and then it would like shudder back to like the okay. Yeah, it was kind of neat how they like flipped in and out of reality. Oh, you just dream. like you just like that imagery. Yeah, it was just kind of neat how that happened. And they didn't really they hadn't really done that in another one. No. But yeah, I don't know. I don't remember that movie. The movie wasn't all that great. It was <laughs> one where he looked like he really looked like a burn victim instead of like just looking like a makeup guy. That's the thing. I don't really think they've come out with any like super good genre classifying like horror movies. No, dude. The last one that came out was Saw. Like and saw uh, and saw ran its course really that's, fast. That's torture porn. That's not really. A but s- the first Saw movie was really good. It was still torture porn, but it was like it kind of defined torture porn as it was. I guess so. Like it was scary, but it was just like it like yeah more then, like how much was, can we gross you out? Right, and then every movie after that was just like yeah, it's the same exact movie. Oh my god, he fucking he hustled his ass down there. Russell, the fucking salesman of swing. I heard the quiet place was kind of like a, a horror. Yeah, movie. but like it's like uh, it was like you can't make any noise. I Did you see it? it? No, you haven't. No, seen I, it. because like I'm loud. What? I gotta be quiet <laughs> oh, to yeah. watch it. It's no, you all about to. being quiet. That's what builds the suspense. You don't have. I mean, you should be quiet in the movie anyway. Yeah, but. dude. But Bird Box was good. That was another one about being quiet. That wasn't scary though. That was like a thriller, a psychological thriller. Yeah, but thriller. the Quiet Place isn't a scary movie either. I thought like there was a, like a monster a, in it. It's a thriller. There's well, a mo- Bird Box is the same kind of. It's like if there's a monster in Bird Box. Like that's why they can't open their eyes because there's like. Oh, Jonas! Force. Spoilers. I haven't seen Bird Box yet. Good. I mean, it's there's a force that makes them force. Feed. Jonas, look, I'm gonna ask you questions and you have to not tell me the answers. So, what's who's in the movie Bird Box? Sandra Bullock. Don't tell me. <laughs> I've place. never seen oh, it. Oh, the surgeon. There we go. Hill and Myers happy. Jonas, I'm gonna give you a hint. It was the blind people the whole time. Those motherfuckers. Dude, everybody wants them to look. <laughs> what? <laughs> they want them to look, dude. They're all like, look at the light. And like the like, way you said that, it always it was almost like you edited yourself. I didn't though. No. No, dude. Were you gonna say a pejorative for blind people? No, dude. I like blind people. How many blind people are you friends with? Uh. Hmm. One time I was downtown Just drinking, saying. and I met this blind dude. You at, met a blind dude at the bar. How do you meet a blind dude? By, he came up to the bar next to me and he had his fucking stick and he asked me to help him. He's like, "Is this a five dollar bill that I have in my hand or is this a one?" He's like, "He's like, I'm looking for a five to pay for a beer." And I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'll help you out." And then I bought him a shot and then we drank it together. I drank it. Did a, I did a fucking shot with a blind dude at the bar and right. helped him find the correct money so he could buy the beer he needed. All right, Jonas, you, you win this, this <laughs> you argument. Win. Oh, you son of a bitch, you win this round. You win this round. Oh, no. Jonas! Uh, yeah, it's cool, man. No, they, it's not! They want to win. Yeah, dude, his, uh, what was his name? I think his name was Chris. Are we playing the Lions? <laughs> the Dirty D? Yeah, the Dirty Lions. Yeah. They couldn't even get a touchdown, them sons of bitches. Yeah, man. That All was, right, well, you win. All right, fine. I've never had a deaf friend. I don't I've, think. I've had two... Oh, not altercations, but two. Inst- <laughs> wow! All of a sudden, there's a fucking altercation. <laughs> I've actually had two instances of fucking crazy enough where my Uber driver was deaf. Really? Yes. Wow. And I taught myself the uh, sign language alphabet back in like. So you can third- at least like spell words out to him. Yeah, like maybe in like fourth or fifth grade, I taught myself. Yeah, I used to do that too. I can't do the M because my thumb's not long enough. You can't do the M. I can't stick my thumb between my ring and my end in my. The M? You, like this? Like, I cannot stick my thumb between my ring finger and my 
pinky. It's not long enough. Like my, my thumb only goes to the edge. I can't like make it go through. We're gonna we're gonna discuss this later. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, I can't about do the your... M. Anyways, but yes, I don't continue even know the story. You, do you need your? Okay. Yeah, because it goes because N is in the middle. And and then M is through the third. I can't do it. But, like, or, you know what, Jonas is fine. But yeah, I had two <laughs> occasions where I had a deaf Uber driver, crazy enough as that is, and the sign language alphabet helped me out greatly. Oh, that's awesome. I, One was, time able, I... I was able to spell to them while they were driving. Oh, that's safe. <laughs> No, you know, wasn't. one time I had an Uber not. driver try to sell me cheese and a stun gun. Really? Yeah, it was fucking weird. Did you buy either? Uh, no, but he gave me his card in case I ever wanted. He a goes, card? Oh, yeah. Well, he tried to sell me a stun gun first. Uh -huh. Then he was like, oh, and by the way, I sell cheese, too. What do you mean you sell cheese? He's, his card was for his cheese business. What, what the fuck is a cheese business? I don't know, dude. He was from Wisconsin. He was all about cheese. I think it was a front for his illegal arms business, to be honest. <laughs> you were selling stun guns and cheese? Dude, he, I got in the car with trouble, actually. Yeah. And fucking this dude was just like, y'all want to buy a stun gun? And he like fucking put it up and was like, Grr! and I was like, we are going to die. And we didn't die. And um, oh, fuck, what is that? A stun gun isn't gonna kill you anyway. Well, right, but he's our Uber driver. So then we we just start talking to him. Jonas, because you I know flag. I did that on purpose. Then um, so then like of course like I am always the like curious type. So I'm like, what else you got, man? Like I was like, oh, I don't need a stun. He's like, oh, this will x amount of volts. It'll fucking knock a moose to the ground or some dumb shit. Elephant knock an elephant to the ground. Whatever the fuck he said. And then he's like, and then he's like, yeah, I also, if y'all ever need some cheese, I sell cheese, too. What kind of cheese did he have? It was all the cheese. Oh, that son of a bitch. He juked when I jocked. It couldn't be all the cheese. I don't know, dude. I had the card for a really long time. I was like. You didn't ask for any cheese? He didn't have cheese with him. I told you it was a fucking I front. No, dude, he was selling. You don't know that. He, he, what if he really okay, had cheese? He had a stun gun to sell in the car. He had no cheese in the car to sell. What is his main who business? Who keeps cheese in the car, Jonas? Well, who wants a stun gun? Why is he driving? We live in fucking Texas. What do you think is going to happen to your cheese if you leave it in the car? It's going to melt. Dude. Okay, then. He's not selling melted cheese, he's but he not, might have like some... fucking stun... Oh, my God. These guys are dropping passes like they have hernias. Jonas, I like a nice pepper jack, all right? Dude, cheese is where it's at. I'm... <laughs> I'm telling you, and you know, man, you Dude, got. I love cheese. I've seen you eat shredded cheese right out of the, the bag. bag. <laughs> yep, I'll fucking do that. Mm, so good, dude. Dude, no, I'm good. I'll pass. I'm good, dog. Thanks. <laughs> I'll pass on some cheese cubes. No, they're not cubed. No, yeah, you know, but I don't like cubes or shredded. I'm just, Can I, I get the fucking playback? You know, in Japan, they actually. What is going on? Why is this happening to me? I mean, why does the play look like this? Jones, don't worry about it. In Japan. <laughs> They actually think cheese is disgusting. And you fumbled. Dude, I don't know what's happening. Jonas, what what was all that? Dude, the screen got fucked up. I don't know what's happening. We get to return the kick. We're up by eight. I got all cheese fucking coma. I got all fucking popped up on cheese dreams. I need you to get your fucking shit together, all right? Okay, thank get you. Get all your shit, put it in the pile. Why is the screen so close? I don't know what's going you on. You changed the view. No, the kickoffs are always fucked up, dude. Mm, it looks different than I've ever seen it be I looked. know. Why is it hurting my heart? I don't know. I gotta I'll take a pic. Whoa, look at this guy. He's fucking... That's dude. <laughs> looks like he wrestles bears. Yeah, that's a little close. There we go. Yeah, that's too that's, far. No, this is where we normally are, right here. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, this is I'm where 100% you are. Right. Sure. Will you block, you son of a bitch? No, <laughs> like, dude, they never block. He ran up Another and flag. just like hung out with him. Another, yeah, well, they know each other. They went to the same. <laughs> it's his childhood chum. What are the chances? They play NFL football together. Yeah, they're from the same neighborhood, Jonas. We are in the dirty D. Dude, I can't believe this. We're not happening. in the dirty D. I can't We're just believe playing this is butter. Have you ever had? I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, I guess. Were you surprised that it tasted like butter? I don't know what the difference is, to be honest it, with you. It, there's none. That, it was a trick question. Uh -oh. oh, he pushed him off like he was fucking trying to kiss him. I'm not a butter boy. I don't. I don't eat a lot of butter neither. Yeah, no, I guess not. No, do you don't. fuck with that margarine shit? No, not really. I like. I have it in the fridge case. I need it, but like, ever since I started watching my figure, I took the butter out of my life. 
Jonas, I literally just saw you eat half a tub of popcorn. Oh, but that's not real butter. <laughs> nah, dude, I don't. It's not that I like avoid it. I just don't use it on my things very often. Oh, nice. Get out of here! Oh, he broke it, folks. Get out of his face! Oh, oh my God! He switched the ball to his other hand so I can stiff arm. Yeah, I know, right? Nah, dude. Uh, I usually I don't usually eat real butter. Uh, you usually do do margarine, but I don't eat either very often anymore. Unless it calls for it in a recipe or something. Oh, okay. I feel that. I don't really like eat bagels or toast. Or and if I eat bagels, I usually eat them with cream cheese. And to I don't do toast a lot. Oh, my God. Seals Jones. If his if he wasn't sealing the Jones, he's jonesing a seal. One or the other. Yeah. And no, that is not clubbing, okay? I'm not talking about seal abuse. Unless we're talking about telling seal his music sucks to his face. Wow. <laughs> Like, how wow. about that kiss from a rose? I'll give you a kiss from a fucking word fist. That reminds me of a 50-50 I saw where it was like, you know, it's like a, you can see one picture or the other by clicking on it on Reddit. Okay. And it was, the caption said, a baby seal being club or seal or a seal clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you what? click on the picture and it's seal like dancing in a fucking club. Is he getting a little crazy? Yeah. He'll never get out alive. You ever do the 50 50s? Not really, no. No, nah, dude, they're not worth it to Isn't me. Isn't it like either, it's, it, but a lot of times, didn't you say, I think you've talked about this before. They're like really fucked up shit. It's like, yeah. watch a dead dog, or or yeah. it's like a dog eating cereal. Yeah. You're like, oh. Watch a cute puppy take its first steps, or watch this kid hang himself in a closet. I'm like, um, <laughs> why do you, but like, why, really? like, either way you lose. Could not just look up cute right, puppies. That's <laughs> what I mean. Like, you either see a picture you could just search for, or yeah. you see something fucked up. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to see a dog taking its first steps ever. That's yeah. way better than a kid hanging himself. Exactly, man. I just want to see more puppies. Can I get a 50-50 that's all cute puppies? <laughs> you get to see one cute puppy or another cute puppy? Oh, dude, that'd be great! <laughs> Nobody loses there. Nobody loses anything. Jonas doesn't like puppies. You lose though. a little bit of dignity. Jonas secretly hates puppies. I don't hate them. I just don't watch good boy videos, man. They're not worth my time. I don't want need to watch a dog jump around in a circle for five minutes. Like, what does that do? They're adorable. I mean, good for them? Jonas, They're don't you? Doesn't it bring like a special joy to your heart to see no, something? No, I so have cute? joy in my heart. I'm not. I don't have a charcoal laden heart. So, I have joy for everything. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Jonas is speaking on my heart laden with charcoal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it basically is with like a single burning ember at its core. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of fire in there? A little bit. I've worked hard to turn a, a blackened heart into, oh God, a little less black. I've done that before. <laughs> Phrase, now, phrasing, Jonas. Now, phrasing. It's a dark, this, now it's a dark charcoal color. This, this, watch the phrasing a little bit. I'm not bit. talking anything I'm about not it. thinking that you are, I'm but I'm just referring to you. I don't know. I got a little tinge. My, wow. my spidey sense started I wasn't, tingling. I wasn't referring to you, friend. I know, but I'm just saying my spidey sense tingles How a little How your spidey sense tingle? I thought you were talking about me. No, I wasn't. We'll talk about me, Jonas. Uh, what do you I like? don't mind if your heart is black or not. Jo jo <laughs> <laughs> How about that? I don't know whether to be offended or not. <laughs> Jonas! <laughs> I, don't, I want your heart to be full of joy. That's team, what I want from you. Team building exercise, Jonas. I'm going to say something nice about you. Okay. And then you're going to say something nice about me. Oh, I love team me. builders. All right. All right, what are you going to say nice about me? Jonas, I think that you are <laughs> a, a very honest person and... You march to the beat of your own drum. That's very, that's very passive aggressive. That was it. What the fuck? I called you honest. And you march to the beat of your own drum, and I respect your ability to do so uh, without being affected. <laughs> All right. You always do what you say you're going to do, and that's one of my favorite things about you. Aww. Bow! He said that so quick, it's too. It's either fucking his troops. <laughs> <laughs> That's why half the time I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you can't let anybody down if you don't do anything. Yeah, like, hey, what are you going to do today? Nothing. Yep. <laughs> said what he's going to do. Yeah, yeah, he definitely did. What he God said. damn it if I don't stick to my guns. <laughs> he did nothing all day, I'm folks. doing shit. No jokes. <laughs>
All right, we're going to win right here. Do, please wrap it up, Jones. I really got to use the bathroom. Oh, Seals Jones. He like, got out alive. Like the urine is building up. The urine? Yes. <laughs> you know when I start using the actual terms for it, it's a problem. All yeah, right? yeah. That's uh, our safety. Have you ever heard the joke that uh, that someone would be like, I have to go urinate, and they go, urinate too. Ha, 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 get it? It's a physical beauty joke. Jones, that, that just made me have to piss worse. <laughs> my mom would say that. <laughs> really? Yeah. That made my boss contract. Right, you know. Oh! Oh, my God. Jonas! Dude, I can't help that Holiday's Galladay fucking... Oh, shit. He's got a basketball on the football he did, he court. He Julius Irving all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it sounds gross, though. <laughs> if someone Irving's on your face, what do you think that means? Ugh. Uh. Yo, I you know what you I think it means? They complain to, about the star player on the team. If you try to do anything on my face, I'm going to have an issue, though. Oh, Ballage. Ballads. Oh, God. He got concussed. I'm sorry. Like, there's not really anything you could name that you could do on my face <laughs> that I'm not going to have a problem with. Um, Yeah, because even if I, like, wiped your face gingerly, yeah, like, that's see? still a problem. I'm going to wipe on your face. I'm like, uh, nah, dude, you're you not. like, a crumb and I wiped it off for you, that's still, like... Mm. Yeah, dude. Like, is there any circumstance that a man should touch another man's face? Not. There's no circumstance where another man should blank on another man's face. What about even touch? Touch on another man's yeah, face? Yeah, like, is there a, any circumstance you can think of a man should touch your face? No, I mean, I guess, but no. Like, yeah, I can't think of one. I'm thinking of it as, like, Ask Ouija. I'm going to blank on your face. And what you could put in that blank on my face, that would be positive. There is nothing. Even if you go nice route, like, I'm going to kiss on your face. Oh. I'm going to punch you back in yours. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to kiss on my I'm gonna face. I'm going to hug your face. I'm going to hug on your face? Yeah. No, nah, dude. Because I just think of a big groin in my a face. A big and, groin? Yeah. How do you hug somebody's face? They have to kneel down. Wow. What kind of How are they going to get bro? to your face? <laughs> what kind of hug are you giving, buddy? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, there's, there's nothing you can do it's to my face. It's time for an operation. Oh, God. Operate on my face. Oh my. That is the there one time where it's okay. You're going to operate on your face. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. As long as it's not like if you say it aggressively, that's something <laughs> totally different. But if the oh, doctor comes like in. TNT. I'm going to operate on that face. No, nah, see, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it had some sexual undertones. I'm thinking that if a male doctor comes in, like, all right, Dynamite, we're ready oh, to operate on your face. Great. And that sounds all right. TNT, it's time we operate on your face, sir. Yeah, yeah I like that. got to add the sir in there. It's all aggressive. I, he's got, gonna, like, I got somebody. Work. Somebody operated on my face. Did they? Yeah, I got Lasix. I had... Uh, basically having an operation they, on they my face. They roundly operated on my face because I had my tonsils removed, so you had to go uh, through my face to get to my tonsils. There goes your mother. Ooh, did you see him? I see him not scoring. His, uh, yeah. Yeah, so they had to like go through my face to get to my. Tonsils. Oh, I guess if like a dentist, they they operate on your face, kinda. Ooh, they gotta be a smooth operator though. A smooth operator. He's a smooth operator. I went to this one dentist one time. I was having like some really bad like tooth pain. I assume I had an abscess or some shit. Yeah. Couldn't even fucking go to sleep. And I found this <laughs> dentist in the phone book. This is in Cleveland, and like. Wow. <laughs> The minute I walked in, I was like, all right, I have an abscess. I need this tooth pulled. And he was like, oh, okay. Uh, but do you have the money? It's like, it's going to cost this much. Do you have the money? I was like, yeah, I got the money. <laughs> he was like, all right, come back here. He takes me into like this room that's the size of a bathroom. <laughs> would you? I would be afraid. I w Dude, the pain was not. Nah, it, it was worth it? Yeah, I was like, fuck it. So he, like, sits me down in his chair, and he's like, all right. And he fucking hits me with the shit, and he takes, like, a pair of fucking pliers, it looks like. Dude, he started yanking on my tooth hole. It hurts so bad. It was the worst pain I've ever had in my life. man. It sounds like you were molested. It sounds like I went to some back alley fucking barely got out of DDS school dentist. Jesus, I can't win. Yeah, there was a, a girl I work with was talking about how she goes to this dentist and they only take cash on Saturdays. And I'm like, yeah, that's I, was like I would 
was like, we went wait. to the same guy. I wait. I was like, wait, wait, wait. So like they take everything like all week, and then they're yeah, like, yeah, was, they only take cash on Saturdays. And yeah, I'm like, it was that like makes a, no sense. It was like a hundred bucks, dude. I got my shit extracted for like a hundred. He, he gave you a fucking narcotic prescription afterwards. He's like, you want some? You want some fucking narcotics? No, that probably would have cost extra. Yeah, probably. he was like, "Don't smoke. Here's some Tylenol." He's like, "You're good to eat whatever you want. Just don't smoke." Yeah, you're like, like don't. "I don't think that's true, sir." <laughs> he was like, "Well, fuck it. Smoke all you want." Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you gave me the money, right? Get out. Yeah, dude. That's no come again. No fucking care package. I didn't even get a toothbrush. Oh Jesus! Yeah, wow. exactly. Hundred dollar cash. He didn't even give you a toothbrush. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's kind of scary, dude. Dude, it was scary. What if it would have like? Infected. Uh, it could have been, but it didn't. This was, I was, how old was I? I was probably like 19, 20 when that You were like, I don't care. Oh my God, we're going to run like a gazelle. Do you see him, folks? Oh my God, right? Oh my God. You should have slid, bro. You need to get shook up a little bit. You should have slid, bro. I can't, I don't know how to slide. Slide. You can't slide with the quarterbacks like in the NFL. Yeah, picture your spirit animal. What? What is his? A Did fucking we? butterfly? No, I don't know what this guy's spirit animal is. What's your spirit animal? Do I have one? I don't know. If you had one, what would it be? Uh, what, what does the spirit animal do for you? Uh, it is the animal that represents Ooh! you. Um, let's see. What would, what would represent me? In like, in like what? Like if I had to like send an animal proxy? Jonas, what the fuck? Why are we making this difficult? I don't know, dude. Sure. Yes. Anything that helps you figure out what animal would represent you. <laughs> what animal would you see in the afterlife that would tell you, Jonas, come to paradise? Is this real? Does people do Jonas, this? Jonas, obviously it's not freaking real. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, who would be talking to me? I feel like, like a gorilla or a baboon or something, maybe. A fucking primate? <laughs> what is what? this supposed to be? I don't know. This wow, figured you would have came you up shame with me. I finally I say didn't like, shame you. I'm you're like, like, oh, a primate? Like that's fine. No, I just mean it's a little. It's a little plain. That's it's, like when you go. That's okay. You can say whatever you want. Trust me, it's okay. And then you say it, and they go, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> 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 wow. No, it's fine. I, I don't know. What is yours, man? Maybe I I'll have a good idea. What do you, you think? I had one ready or something? You always do this. I thing. really didn't you have one ready. You jump in feet fucking first. <laughs> and then you go, nah, dude, I'm good. It's like when you made me freestyle rap in the living room of the Crazy Town Compound. And you're like, no, nah, I'm good. Well, I had to test your metal. It was good, though. Um, If I had a spirit animal, it would be uh, probably the three toad sloth. Okay. I don't know what that is or why that would be good, but I let you do it. You don't know what a fucking sloth I is. I know. I'm just playing coy. I I know exactly. I've seen sloths recently. Yeah, I like. They're cute, too. Like, I mean, super recently I've seen sloths. Well, isn't that wonderful, Jonas? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, glad you like I'm sloths. I'm a big fan of sloths. <laughs> right. I won't even ask the context. I'm just like, <laughs> in the video, whatever. I'm, <laughs> just, Jonas. Being, I'm just being a Jonas. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to I'm like, piss, all right? share, and subscribe. Go pee. I'll finish it up. Lie to your friends. Tell them that we're worth watching because you know we're not. And while I'm at it, just hit that notification bell. We'll ding a ling a ling. And I don't have TNT judging me right now for saying it. But for Jonas, for TNT Pissamite, I am out. <laughs> 